Hey guys, it's RC here. Today I'm recording Scorched Earth, and I'm just giving you some basic tips. Not as good as most people's basic tips, Scorched Earth stuff. But, um, yeah, I'll start breaking down some tips. So, first tip, and this is one of the most important tips, build near water. I don't recommend building at a river, though, because a lot of people have that same idea. And um, if you're going to build near a water vein, make sure you're almost or near level 15, because once you're level 15, you unlock the water well, which you can hook up to a water vein. Another tip is uh, always have a bola on you. The moment you reach level 9, craft some bolas, because all, almost all the carnivores in Scorched Earth are bola a bull. Okay, a bola a bull. And next off, I recommend you don't build with wood, stone, or metal. Because if you build with wood, stone, or metal, believe it or not, those just make you hotter. So it's best to go with thatch, or adobe, or possibly greenhouse. I'm pretty sure greenhouse has the same uh, temperature thing as thatch. Um, next is night is incredibly cold. Day is hot, night is cold. Like... I step outside and I'm already starting to freeze. So, yeah. Don't, you do want a base or some protection from the cold at night. Next, I recommend you get one of these cute little things. They're fairly easy to tame, but I recommend you have at least 10 narco berries before you go to knock out, uh, Ugh, before you go to knock out one because you uh, they wake up really fast they only have 30 topor but two narco barriers will raise them from like one topor to full and um, what's useful about these guys is they do storm signals so when they freak out and you see them like act like they're digging towards the ground that means that it's gonna be a heat wave which means you need to be underground or I think if you're in a adobe you'll be fine but I'm pretty sure in that you basically d start dying and then if they look up into the sky and yelp it could either mean two things a lightning storm which prevents you from using any electronics or uh, any guns I think and then it could also mean sandstorm which drains all of your stamina and makes you hungry and I mean really hungry you start starving immediately um, I recommend that you kill anything you can get your hands on like I saw a Jeroboa and it was hard for me but I needed to hide so I killed it like any bit of hide you get is worth it you need the hide. And I know this is weird, but believe it or not, wearing clothes, I don't think flak helps you, but wearing clothes actually protects you from the heat. And in case you guys are wondering, how did I get a metal pick and a crossbow this early on? Well, there's a thatch base with a giant gaping hole in it just, here, I'll show you. It's just over there and this crossbow was in it, this pickaxe was in it, the spyglass was in it, and the canteen was in it. So I feel like I scored. Oh yeah, and these. So, those are my tips for beginning. So always have a bola on you, uh, make sure you have a house before it reaches night or something to protect you from the cold. During day, just have cloth on because that will also help you with the heat or be in your thatch house. Build near a water source. Kill anything you can really get your hands on, even if it doesn't give you hide. It's best just to get the meat and the hide. Oh wow, he's spazzing out. Okay. Um, oh yeah, tame wise, after you get a Jeroboa, which I haven't gotten around to yet. Uh, you should get a Mauler Tops. I'm pretty sure this one's the 60s, so I'm not going to tame him. Her. Sorry for assuming genders. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to find a low level Mauler Tops to tame, or Mauler Tops. And then, best base locations I recommend is 
there's a cave area by the red obelisk and the by any obelisk really is a safe place not safe but best because there's water everywhere trees everywhere you'll be fine you'll be set um wyverns i recommend you have a whip and instead of because since they nerfed the flyers what i recommend is get a whip have a turret set up or something something to shoot down the wyverns after you since you can't outfly them anymore and just have something shoot them down or if your friend has a wyvern have them pick you up drive by a nest use your whip you can whip the eggs right out of the nest like Indiana Jones style and you'll be on your way now if we're talking you alone I recommend you get I'm trying to remember what the fastest flyer was in here. Uh, I think the Argentavis was the fastest you can get since pterodons aren't a thing and other than that it's just uh, wyverns are the fastest but you're not you're trying to get a wyvern so get an RG and ever since they nerfed the flyer update like what you should do is put it in stamina and health so it can at least take a few blasts it, it sucks that they nerfed the flyers I mean how are you supposed to get wyvern eggs now um, after you've got the egg you're gonna need over a dozen lit campfires to keep the egg warm so what you should do is after you get this dozen have about 50 wood in each of them and you have to constantly maintain the egg because it um, takes a few hours to hatch if you don't have multipliers up so what I recommend is you have buddies on and maybe get multiple eggs so that way the eggs will hatch with s at least multiple eggs will be hatching so you don't need to waste hours of your time for one dragon and then the raising process people say you need milk but I'm pretty sure you don't necessarily need it I'm pretty sure the only way you necessarily need the milk is to either have them mature faster or for their um, their imprinting you need milk to help imprint them so instead you just need to feed them meat which I've done just load their inventory of meat and then just let it sit and uh, if it asks for milk then I guess you're done imprinting unless you want to go out and try to knock out a wyvern which I'm sure people have videos of how to easily farm wyverns for milk but it's not necessarily easy you need to be up there you know and this is a tutorial for slight beginners now another thing I recommend is have a tent on you if you're exploring because if a storm happens tents protect you from everything so always be aware of that and have a tent on you now another thing you can do is if you see a cactus and you're hungry don't pass by the cactus cactus if you harvest it it gives you cactus sap or whatever and it actually feeds you so it's really useful Anywho, that's really all I got for my tutorial, guys. I just really started, and I have played this before, but not much. And I hope you guys have a rockin' day. And it's in the middle of the desert, but I'm going to throw a snowball anyways. See ya.